For more analysis, joining us now is Dr. Johannes Druhak, CEO of Consultancy Spread Management. So first of all, sir, can you uh, tell us about how much of a role might the robots could play in taking care of those elder citizens? Well, the role it can play is that it can make the uh, care of those people significantly less labor intensive. And that is very important because we see two things. The group of people uh, older than 60 years is at the moment already the third largest group of population in most countries. And the group of people between 40 and 60 is at the moment the largest group. So within the next two 20, 10 to 20 years, they will become the largest group of population. And we simply do not have enough younger people to take care of them with growing costs. With, with growing need for care, the younger generation will need to do other work to be able to pay for that care. And emerging technology, AI, robots, can really support in making it less labor intensive. But we also have to make sure that despite being less labor intense, it still is taking care of everybody and not just those people who can afford those um, emerging technologies. That is, a, is a, a, a major part. Now, we can help with technology to have those people still integrated into our society, although they will over time become, for example, less mobile. We can make sure that they can still enjoy culture and, and entertainment without having to go to large theaters where there may be not enough place for them, etc., etc. So quality of life can really improve, but we also have to make sure it is available for everyone. Mm -hmm. And also, Dr. Drug Hack, you know, there are some ethical concerns about those emerging technologies. Is that something that concerns you as well? It, it concerns me very much because, first of all, we have to take care of cybersecurity and privacy. And when we look at the situation today, we see that we are not good enough. There's too much data breaches, too much privacy infringements, there's too much information out there which should not be out there. And the second part which we see is that especially AI is a combination of algorithms and information. And it depends on what information we feed our systems to how those systems will respond. In that we see once again that there's an optimization for the perfect audience. And those who are underrepresented in, in learning and in generating that information will also not benefit from um, whatever AI and, and emerging technology can offer. So those are, are very important concerns and I, I want us to be very much more aware of that. I want to make sure that we do not develop those technologies for a combination of people who can pay for it mm -hmm. and on the other hand who are most represented in whatever region it is. If, if we look at the emerging technology coming from the UK, we have to make sure that it's not built just for the most common group of the population segment in the UK. We have to make sure that it can deal with everyone and is available for everyone in a secure and privacy protected manner. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Drug Hack, for your analysis and for your time.